G'day, I'm Musa Killink uh, from the Country Fire Authority. I work as a fire behaviour analyst and today I'll be presenting the Bushfire Monthly Outlook for the month of February. To my right, I've got Darcy Pryor from Forest Fire Management Victoria who will be co-presenting. Uh, first, uh, to recap the season so far, there has been widespread fire activity along the eastern seaboard of Australia. Over 6 million hectares have been burnt in Queensland, over 5 million in New South Wales and approximately 1.5 million in Victoria. As a result, there has been widespread consequence in the North East and East Gippsland regions. Rainfall conditions during 2019 was lowest on record and 10th lowest on record in Victoria. As a result, forest vegetation has dried out much faster than usual. The forest fire danger indices, which is a direct input into the fire danger ratings, was also very much above average to record highs across most of Australia. Um, that's enough from me. Now I'll pass on to Darcy. Thanks, Marissa. Um, first, I wanted to have a look at the January rainfall. And what we saw is really good rainfall across most of the state with um, at least average rainfall, but above average in some parts, uh, particularly in central parts of the state. Uh, Moosa showed the rainfall over 2019 and we saw, we saw rainfall deficiencies uh, particularly across East Gippsland and also the Northern Mallee. So when we apply some of that rainfall from January over the top, um, what we've seen is that the root zone soil moisture is still below average in those areas that lacked the rainfall being East Gippsland and Northern Mallee. Um, for Northern Mallee that's really significant for the potential for fire runs. Um, during February, but for East Gippsland with fires still burning, um, that'll obviously play a part in the potential fire behaviour. Into February, the ENSO and Indian Ocean Dipole and other um, climate drivers are all neutral, and what that means is that the potential for above or below average rainfall conditions is equal. So we can see that with the chance of above average rainfall map on your screen, which is showing around a 50% chance. Um, well, the one thing that is showing a bit of a trend is the chance of above average maximum temperatures which is showing that it's going to be hotter across most of the state during February um, but particularly in the north of the state where it'll be significantly potential to be significantly hotter. So looking forward and what that means for operational and management considerations um, for East Gippsland with that underlying dryness still there there's potential for those fires to continue to to run around, which we have seen over the last few days. Um, in grasslands, there's potential now on spike days for fires to be running and having um, considerable impact. Um, Mallee, desert and sandy country will be drying out right now and potential to see fast running fires on spike days. And as we move through February with hotter conditions, um, there'll be the potential to see those fires running in, in those conditions as well. Um, there's also potential for multiple hazards to be affecting you. Um, we saw that in the last couple of weeks with flash flooding um, and that'll, that trend will continue and hazardous trees and flash flooding will be an issue in fire affected areas um, as well as potential for fast running and devastating fires on those spike days. That's all, thank you.